From Blackpool. A Liverpool fan, Jordan Banks was recently praised by James Milner for raising £3,000 for a mental health charity in memory of a family member. This is the first picture of an extraordinary and thoughtful nine-year-old schoolboy, who died after being struck by lightning while playing football. The family of the Blackpool youngster, named locally as Jordan Banks, wept and hugged as they visited a memorial at the football pitch on Wednesday morning. Earlier this year, the Liverpool FC fan was called a hero for raising £3,000 for a mental health charity in memory of his stepdad's uncle Rhys Begg, who died by suicide in July 2019. Jordan, dubbed Minnie Milner for his play on the pitch with Clifton Rangers, ran 30 miles in 10 days and was backed by Liverpool's vice-captain James Milner sent a signed shirt and a video message hailing the incredible feat, Langsliv reported. Tributes including football shirts, footballs, flowers, and cards were left at the football field in Blackpool, Langs, where Jordan was struck by lightning at about 5 p.m. on Tuesday. The Stanley Primary School pupil, the middle child of three, took part in a private football coaching session when a violent storm swept through the area. About 3,000 lightning strikes occurred in northern England during an eight-hour period. Lancashire police said the boy was pronounced dead after being taken to hospital. Jordan's best friend, CJ Campbell, visited the memorial to leave flowers and a football with a message written on it. CJ told Sky News, I started crying straight away as soon as I heard because he is my very best friend in my class at school. I was so shocked, and you wouldn't expect to hear that news. He added, It's so sad, just to see where he was playing. A GoFundMe page was set up to support Jordan's family, including his mum Danielle Begg and stepdad Dan Begg. It had raised more than £15,000 tripling its initial goal of £3,000, within four hours. Family friend Jessica Marr, who set up the fundraiser, wrote, There are no words that could possibly be written to begin to explain the pain the family of Jordan must be feeling. After raising £3,000 for counselling in the community just this year, in memory of his uncle, it's now time for us to come together as a community, and help give back to such an incredibly thoughtful and caring young lad who has been taken way too soon in a tragic incident. Anything, no matter how big or small donation, please help as I know whether you knew Jordan personally, or have just heard about him through social media, this is something that is so heart-wrenching, and should never have happened. All of my love, thoughts, and prayers are with the Begg family right now. Earlier this year, Jordan raised £3,000 for counseling in the community, which helps people from Blackpool, and the Filed area who are struggling with their mental health, and cannot afford private sessions. Given the high cost of private help, the charity offers counseling services in exchange for a donation. Jordan's step-uncle Reese would have turned 30 this year, so he wanted to run a mile for each year. In a video message shared on Facebook by his mum in January, as England was in its third coronavirus lockdown, Jordan thanked donors, made an appeal to his favorite football club, and urged everyone to stay safe. Jordan said in the video, I'm so happy and grateful for the donations from every single one of you, but remember, keep them coming because it's the best cause you could think of. Some of the runs have been very hard, but I have been able to power through them. And remember, stay safe, but I've just got one wish, if Liverpool could send me a text, anyone from Liverpool. Stay safe. His mum Danielle Begg, 38, told Lanks Live in January, We were coming up with several ideas for Reese's birthday, and we were quite limited due to COVID restrictions. Jordan heard and said, I want to do something. He said that he wanted to run a marathon. When his mum told him that a marathon was 26 miles, Jordan told her he wanted to run 30. He ran about 3 miles a day despite the winter cold, rain and ice. She added, He's always been very determined, and when he sets his mind to do something, he does it. He's very caring and aware, more so than most adults, to be honest. He'll always ask if people are okay. When Reese died, we made sure that we reassured him that it's okay for boys to cry, and that it's okay to have bad days. I think even at his young age, and he's aware that people can have mental health issues, that sometimes it can be more than just a bad day, and that's okay. 
Jordan and his stepdad Dan got the attention of Liverpool FC during the boys' charity campaign, and were stunned when the youngster received a video message from Milner and a signed shirt. The footballer said, Hi Jordan, how's it going? I've heard that you're doing an amazing thing in raising funds for counseling in honor of your uncle Reese. I think running a marathon is an incredible feat, and it's difficult with people doing it with legs a lot bigger than yours, but to do 30 miles is incredible. I heard you get called Mini Milner because you're very determined, so that's an amazing skill to have, never ever give up, and I hear you've been out in all weather fighting in the cold and the rain, so you keep going, and keep doing what you're doing mate. Remember you'll never walk alone, all the boys are behind you, and I'll send you a couple of shirts, one for yourself for doing an amazing thing and another that you can hopefully raise a bit of money from and put it towards all the money you're raising. Well done bud, it's an amazing achievement, and you should be very proud. Mum Danielle told Langs live at the time, Jordan is, made up, he cannot believe it. He then said, it's crazy, and I hope he likes me being like him. He's in shock and I think I am too. He's so, so happy. Referring to Liverpool's motto, you'll never walk alone, she added, it's amazing, and it's like it means that not only do they support us but also they stand with us that times are hard, but you are not on your own. Jordan, who played for the under nines team at Clifton Rangers Football Club, was described as an inspiration to everyone he met. A spokesperson for the club said, it is with great sadness and a weighty heart we announced that the tragic incident yesterday involved one of our own players. Jordan of our U9Bs, tragically passed away yesterday evening doing what he loved. Jordan was a shining light and an inspiration to everyone that he met. A strong, determined and courageous young man, who everyone will miss. The world has truly lost an extraordinary young man, who had done so much good in his community. We cannot begin to imagine the grief of the family. Our thoughts, prayers, love, and hugs go out to them all and to his teammates, friends, and coaches who are devastated by the loss. The club will be working with the FA to support the family and anyone touched by this tragedy and ensure they get the help they need. While we come to terms with this most devastating loss, we will not be making any further comments. Fly high young man, sleep tight, and God bless. Friends of the family and residents paid tribute to Jordan, and offered condolences to his family following his death. One person wrote on Facebook, RIP Jordan, the lad just wanting to play footy. Thoughts are with his family and friends. In a touching tribute, mourners posted nine football emojis on their Facebook profiles. Blackpool Council, which owns the playing fields, flew the town hall's flag at half-mast in tribute to Jordan. Lancashire police said officers and paramedics were called after 5 p.m. on Tuesday to the Common Edge playing fields. Specialist officers were supporting the boys' family. Spirit of Youth Junior FC, which uses the football field, said the boy was understood to have been taking part in a private coaching session. In a statement, the club said, it is with the deepest regret that we have to report the news that the young boy who was struck by lightning earlier this evening has sadly passed away. The tragic incident happened on our home ground at Common Edge playing fields, but it was not during a club training session. As a club, we are heartbroken, and we offer our deepest condolences to the boys' family. Spirit of Youth is a family, and we are entrenched in the local community, and we will give whatever support is required to both the family and to those that were with him at the time. We would ask that people respect the privacy of the family at this most tragic of times. Rest in peace, young man. Detective Superintendent Nick Connaughton of Lancashire Police said, This is a truly devastating incident, and our thoughts are wholehearted with the family and friends of the young boy, who has passed away, at this unfortunate and distressing time. In the UK, two people are killed by lightning every year on average. About 3,000 lightning strikes across northern England between 4 p.m. and midnight on Tuesday, 